my titties. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If you are new, my name is Mo. I'm 28, working on my financial freedom journey by budgeting my money, saving my money, investing my money, paying off debt, and creating budgeting goods on paperbymo.com. And if you're returning, hey friend. So in this video, we're going over the second quarter for 2023, okay? That means that we're more than halfway through the year. First quarter, as you can see here, I just kind of wrote in a notebook. It's January, February, March. And I wrote out my student loans, emergency funds, IRAs, investment. Um, and then I guess I broke it down even further, like what I saved with my his and hers, $10 challenge, et cetera, et cetera. So I'm gonna do the same thing. However, I'm just going to put it on song paper. And my old budget planner does make a cameo because it's gonna be um, April, May, June. And so April is in here. Um, some of May's in here, and then the rest of May's in here, and then obviously June's in here. So let's tap, tap, tap in. How are you guys doing? Are, do you guys go over your quarters? I feel like I asked you this, but I just, you know, I want to make sure I ask again because I'm curious. Am I the only person who does this? Um, also, like, what are your quarterly goals? That's another one. So that's January. Um, I think it's big and important to make the goals. I don't know. I saw not too long ago on TikTok. If you got a problem with TikTok, tough. <laughs> um, but I also do my research on stuff that I find on TikTok. But anyways, I saw on TikTok this guy was saying if you really want to like do something effectively, you know, hone in on that for two or three months straight instead of like having 17,000 goals, right, every month. And I don't know. It just, I felt that on a spiritual level, I must say. So um i definitely feel like when it comes to budgeting or my finances i'm definitely holding on to honing into that but um i think i should definitely do that when it comes to uh like paper by mo so i'm gonna go ahead put this over here take this budget planner out for a hot second and we're gonna write it out Ew. i'm excited to see what progress i have um how much so student loans i paid for q1 was 733 dollars and 32 cents can you guys see that i think so so i'm eager to see what the progress is for the next three months well april may and june so we're gonna write this out okay so we're gonna say 2023 q2 boom so that's january february march we're gonna do April, May, and June. And I should have left space, but I didn't. And we're gonna go ahead and do student loans. All right, on this side, since I didn't have any space on the other side. Emergency fund, IRA, invest. So that means like M1, fire, yeah. And we're gonna do these sections. And we'll also do 52 weeks. So let's go like this. My lines are gonna be horrible, but you guys get the vibe. Boom. Bam. Wham. Ooh, this is why I always have all this stuff on the desk. Okay. Now that we have that i'll put this to the side and we'll see if i need it back but let's get into these numbers okay so first things off we're starting off with the month of april um and we're going to start off with student loans debt student loans i paid 318 dollars and 97 cents for student loans so obviously there's more things in my budget. There's bills, there's credit card. But these are the things that I want to keep up with because um, these are like my main goals, I guess. So 318.97, yes. 318.97. Mind you, I was saving because I see that $700. I was saving a lot when it comes to house and stuff because at the time I was trying to get a house um, and I put a lot into the house that we were closing on before we decided not to close. So there's that. Okay, so emergency fund, that's save-ish. I gave it $308, 308, that's very specific. 
So when it comes to my IRA, I gave it $20, womp, 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 which I realized I need to do better. <laughs> then when it comes to fire, it was 50 and then M1, it was 30. So invest, we're gonna simply do 80 cause I'm adding the 50 and the 30 from the fire and the M1. Then we have the 52 weeks, she got 155. Okay, so there we are for April. I wanna see $10 challenge, it should be $100. So I'll just do that as well. It should be 100 a month. Let me put another line, boom. That one was really ugly, but ooh, we're alive, okay. So that's April. Let's see, is May in here? Because I don't think it is. But don't let me lie to you guys. Don't let me lie. Okay, May. So I budgeted out the month, but I didn't close it. So yeah, we'll do it in the other budget planner. Boom. All right. I think also once I have all my numbers, something I will also do is um, create goals for the Q3. Um, so I'm gonna write this aside because I forget goals for Q3. And maybe just two, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy, nothing out of pocket because I want to make sure I actually accomplish my goals. Okay, look how cute my handwriting is here. Ugh, I love that for me. Oh, and then also we want to do income. Like how much income did I bring in? Okay, so let's see first things first student loans so six hundred and ten dollars you know what <laughs> she's not mad uh -oh. okay six ten emergency fund 550 550 dollars ira she gave um 50 not mad at that here okay so ira what did i say 50. okay then we have invest which is my fire 150 and my m1 which is 118 let's just do some math one uh -oh. 150 plus 118 is 268 in the month of may 268 dollars 52 weeks 420 wow <laughs> And ten dollar challenge should be a hundred dollars. Yes. Okay. Not mad at that. Now let's move on to June, and then we'll start adding all these numbers, the progress. Um. I feel like, like I said, I want to probably go back and see what my goals were, um, for each month, and go from there. So June, close that out. Student loans was eight oh one. 51 why didn't i put a dollar sign that's a lot of money i'm not mad not mad 801 51 student loans emergency fund um <laughs> this is not funny but 38 dollars geez life okay 38 dollars is better than zero dollars so i'm not mad ira 38 dollars again better than zero dollars i think i put a lot more money towards like look at that credit card yeah invest which was my fire 101 and my m1 which is 68 so that's 169 169 my 52 weeks ended up being 212 dollars and ten dollar challenge is a hundred dollars every month yes mm -hmm. okay not mad, not mad at all at these numbers. So we'll see once I write it all out, how much for Q2 did I do towards my student loans? Okay, so we have here, we have 318.97 plus 610 plus 801.51. That's $1,730. Hold on, so it's $1,730.48. If I compare it to Q1, it was $733.32. So I basically went up a whole grand. Not mad at that. 
So uh, my emergency fund, emergency fund, it was 308 plus 550 plus 38, <laughs> it's $896, 896 for Q2. So for Q1, it was 822, about the same, just about $70 more. So there's that. Then we have my IRA. Um, 50, 70, 80, 90, 98, but let's just make sure. 50 plus 20 plus 38. See, that's why we add, because it's 108, not 98. Jeez. So I only did $108 for my IRA. And when it came to Q1, I did $70. So it was an increase. Not mad at that. Um, Investments, we had... 80, let's write the word invest. So we had 80 in April, plus 268 in May, plus 169 in June, that's 517. Um, I definitely think this is gonna be lower. Yup, look, cause invest is at 1,540, and I only did 500. I will say at the top of the year, I had the momentum like in my mind, oh, I'm going to invest all my money, all my money. You know what I mean? And I obviously invested a lot more money, but I haven't done. So I need to do a better job at that, which I've already stated thus far. Um, let's see, 52 weeks. Now, the 52 weeks, it's based off the actual challenge that I have. So, you know, this is not like a, oh, you did more or did less. It's more like a, what did I color in for that week? I mean, for that month, 155 plus 420 plus 212, that's gonna be $787, 787. And previously for the Q1, it was $1,015. And then $10 challenge is gonna be the same, his and hers. It's hard for me to keep up with it as much because I do like take a lot of money out, so I'm not gonna do that. But I will say $10 challenge is gonna be 300. Okay. So that's the Q2 um, 2023 progress for April, May, June. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and calculate the income, okay? So let's pull this back up from Q1. I did that before. I want to be consistent. So I basically did uh, full-time money, side hustle money. So side hustle here, like that was YouTube, and I think that was the Amazon on money for when you guys click the links so yes oh and then in march i got paid three times for my full-time job so that's also why that one number was so high and for whatever reason this number is kind of low compared to this one. Oh, you know what because i think at the top of the year we got a raise life okay so i brought in thirteen thousand seven hundred seventy dollars and 49 cents for q1 2023 january february march Let's see how much I brought in for Q2, 2023, April, May, and June. I'm excited. Okay. So we're gonna put you in the back and we're gonna, um, January, March, April, May, June. So we're gonna do this again, 2023, Q2. And I'm gonna say, and So, we're gonna put uh, April, May, and we're gonna say June, boom. All right, so we'll do full time here. <clears throat> Let's start off with June, just because I have this open. So my full time was $3,911. $3,911.33. And then we'll go to YouTube and then we'll do sales. Okay. YouTube, that was $116.86. Okay, $116.86. And then we'll do sales. So I'll just put PBM. I will also say in January, February, March, I wasn't even calculating any of the sales. So that's something that's, you know, a little different here but also I do want to say um like there's gonna be months where I don't make as much money when it comes to um 
paper by mail like as an entrepreneur that happens so yes all right let's do june's first and then go from there so we have three thousand nine hundred eleven dollars dot three three so that's my full time plus one hundred sixteen dollars dot eighty six okay um 116 yes plus 550 dollars wow not mad at this number so this number here is four thousand five hundred seventy eight dollars and nineteen cents not mad at all okay now we're gonna go into may so for full time it is $3,911.32 um, and then no YouTube so a paper by Mo it was $947.47 and so I'll also keep in mind I also went ahead and included like paper by Mo bills because I put in paper by Mo money just in case you haven't seen these budgets so we have $3,911.32 plus nine four seven so that's four thousand eight hundred fifty eight dollars four thousand eight hundred fifty eight dollars and thirty two cents boom all right and now we're gonna go to april which means other budget planner Ooh. okay let's see where we are oh this was april yeah, okay now i think this 143 is youtube but like it's kind of hard for me to tell. So I'm gonna say April was $3,911.32. No paper by Mo, and we're gonna say YouTube is $143.97. We're gonna add her up. Okay, so we have $3,911.32. dollars 11.32 yes, plus one four three dot ninety seven so four thousand fifty five dollars and twenty nine cents four thousand fifty five twenty nine okay not bad here so now we're gonna just add the total up here and compare it to last quarters so four thousand fifty five plus dot twenty nine plus four thousand eight hundred fifty eight dollars um, dot 32 plus four thousand five hundred seventy eight dollars dot one nine so that's thirteen thirteen thousand four hundred ninety four hundred ninety one dollars and eighty cents okay so if I compare it um there's about what about three hundred dollar difference, thirteen thousand seven hundred seventy, thirteen thousand four hundred ninety one. Mind you, in March I ended up getting paid three times. January, my income was a little lower than like the three thousand nine hundred eleven dollars thirty two, which I usually get now because I got a raise. So it was kind of the raise happened in the middle of January, so that second week in January. I'm sorry, that second paycheck. So, which explains why this check. As you can see full time is a little lower i also got paid once for youtube in january and then i got once in amazon um so i had two side hustles here paychecks and then on here i got one two three four so more side hustle money coming in um more consistent full time i pray to be consistent with youtube but you know life it's a roller coaster sometimes so i'm not mad at this number at all um, I would like to, I think the next thing I'm going to do is my goals. Let's see. Yes, goals for Q3, income. So we did the income. Now let's get these goals going, okay? Let's get them down. And maybe just two goals. Nothing's wrong with that. Keep it small, simple, cute, and to the point. Okay. Okay. So I think number one for me is definitely, um, or maybe it's gonna be more than one. No, it's just gonna be, it's gonna be two. So number one is definitely invest more money, okay? Um, 
<laughs> I am obsessed with watching fire videos and people who have already started their fire journey because they've retired, been able to retire early. Um, and I show it to my fiance and I'm continuously reminded that we need to do better. We need to do more. I need to be doing like a thousand a month. Okay. Call me dramatic, but I see how much money is coming in, you know, and I see that I definitely could be investing more money. Now, granted, I do have the 52 week savings challenge and maybe that money I could put towards investments, but, um, cause that alone for the past three months was 787 and previously it was like, I don't know, a little bit more, a thousand. So I definitely feel like I should be investing more money, um, smartly, can I say that? Smart ways or whatever. So when it comes to my IRA, my FIRE, which is my just a fidelity account, I title it FIRE, my M1 account, just making sure I put that money in so it can work for my benefit. So I definitely want number one, invest more money. Oh, and also, so let me put one sub A, the FIRE account, okay? One sub B and one sub C, IRA and D, uh oh, whole life insurance policy. So that's my investment. And then number two is get rid of debt. So get rid of debt, which is basically put more money towards my debt, which is my student loans. Also, I think the conversation, cause I showed you guys my money, the conversation needs to be had with my fiance. Um, he has debt, not as much as me, but he definitely draws, brings to the pot. So because we will be getting married soon, um, we're talking about our debt now um, and our income as a household and how we want to go forward with that. So I'm working down my debt, but a lot of like his student loan debts, because they've been on that pause, um, he hasn't really been paid any of that. He does have a private loan. So so it's a lot more, <laughs> a lot more com conversations need to be had. But this right here, I want to get rid of debt. Um, I think, if I'm gonna say, so if that's a thousand a month, and that's a thousand a month, that's two thousand. That's that's more than a check already. But I think it's possible. I think it's possible, especially if I have side hustle money, YouTube income, paper by mo income. I think July is gonna be short of the paper by mo income. Again, some months are better than others, but hopefully I can get some YouTube income. So. My goal is, cause all this money from paper by mo, YouTube or whatever, it's coming from, um, all the paper by mo and YouTube money is going to go towards my student loan debt. So I think it's very much so possible. So get rid of debt, basically pay it down. And I'm gonna say um, $1,000 a month or about, so, or near. And I'm gonna say here, where do I wanna put this? A, B, C, D, we'll make it an E. <laughs> thousand dollars a month and i didn't put an h there or near it so if it's 800 700 not bad if it's 800 700 here not bad so these are my goals for q3 we're in july now so i have time to adjust my money just my numbers to ensure that my q3 goals are met okay this wasn't bad at all i'm not discouraged um some of the numbers were higher some of the numbers were lower the income was a little lower here but mostly because I had a three month, um, three paycheck month, which was March. So we got July, July, August, September. September is a three paycheck month. So that will be, so Q3 will definitely be um, more money for me. And fingers crossed also with YouTube, Pepper by Mo. Trying to be consistent on YouTube, trying to create new projects, Pepper by Mo, so that can have some consistency of its own. But I love these goals. Not mad at this progress, not mad at where my money has gone. Been doing way better with the student loans. Um, just want to do better also with investments and maybe even further with student loans. So like, see in June, $800 student loans are not bad. Um, May, still not bad. April, eh. <laughs> eh. The 300, we can work on it. Um, so I look forward to my success for Q3. 
And I hope you guys went ahead and budgeted your Q2 income, your progress, and so all of that. And make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And check me out in the next video. Bye.